East and see Tampa Bay continues. Welcome back to the show. There is always a ton of things happening in Tampa Bay. So let's go ahead and get to what's happening this weekend. All right, starting with some baseball, the Rays will continue their four game series against the Kansas City Royals this weekend at Tropicana Field. You can catch games at 710 on Friday night, 410 on Saturday and 140 on Sunday afternoon. Tickets start around 20 bucks and kids ages 14 and under can actually get a free meal at all three games. How cool is that? I love it. Nice little promotion there. And Jack Johnson will be in town for his Meet the Moonlight tour. The singer will perform at the Mid Florida Credit Union Amphitheater on Friday night at 715. Will he'll share the stage with special guest Ziggy Marley. Tickets start around 42 bucks. And the following night at 7, Dirks Bentley will perform at the Mid Florida Amphitheater. The country music star will be in Tampa this Saturday for his Beers on Me tour with special guests Ashley McBride and Travis Denny. Tickets start around only $31. Okay, who's up for a tasty bar crawl? We're talking tacos and tequila to be exact. This Saturday, the end of summer taco and tequila crawl is back in Sarasota. General admission is 20 bucks and includes three tacos plus discounted margaritas, beer, and tequila specials at each stop. Now you're speaking my language. The fun <laughs> kicks off at 2 p.m. at the Rafferty's Bar off of Main Street. I know there's no better combination than tacos and tequila that oh, I'm yes. here for it. <laughs> and we're getting groovy with some 60s vibes at Tarpon Springs. Hippie Fest takes place this Saturday at the Sponge Dogs. This free family-friendly event will have a VW Bug show, a hippie costume contest, live music, plenty of food trucks and beer, plus oh so much more. Make sure to check out all the fun in Tarpon Springs from 2.30 until 10.30. Oh, I had a Volkswagen Beetle, favorite Aww. car ever, love that. Okay, there's also a big event already happening right now at Amelie Arena that has many folks flipping for joy. It's the U.S. Gymnastics Championships, which features multiple Olympians and world medalists. Approximately 150 athletes will compete, national champions will be crowned, and the 22-23 USA Gymnastics National Team will be named at the conclusion. So we caught up with Sam McCulloch, USA Gymnastics coach, who, by the way, former artistic gymnast, six-time U.S. national champion, and, by the way, a world's bronze medalist and a three-time Olympian. That's a resume. Wow. Here he is to tell <laughs> us more. You're going to want to watch for uh, Brody Malone, Shane Wiskus, and Yul Moldauer. They're the returning Olympians from our uh, the 2021 games, but other notable Young, youngsters, I'll call them. They haven't gotten their exposure yet, but Fred Richard and Asher Hong are some two guys that are going to be really fun to watch as well. And then on the women's side, we have we have <laughs> Leanne Wong, who's from who trained out, out in Florida, and Jade Carey, who was on the 2021 Olympic team as well. And they're just going to be a lot of fun to watch. So, we, I mean, there's going to be a great pool of athletes. And you're not going to be underwhelmed with the amount of flips and twists yes. and sticks that are going to happen this weekend. And we're going to have just activities for people to get involved in the sport, try out some fun activities that are gymnastics related. We're going to have Olympians. I'll be there signing one of the days. So nice. that you can get a face-to-face -face interaction with all the top-level athletes that we have competing at the national championships. And I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe this is the first time that this big of an event has been held in Tampa for gymnastics. So it's wow. really, really cool. Wow, Again, there are the dates. There's the ticket information. Again, single session tickets start at just $19. So lots of fun, lots of flipping. And what else? You say flipping and sticking there? I, I know, like that it. was good. I love that. There we go. <laughs> well, you can't plan out your weekend if you don't know how the weather's going to shape up, of course. So let's check in with ABC Action News meteorologist Shay Ryan to see what we can expect this weekend. We've been uh, sticking with this west to east flow here over the week. And now as we're heading into the weekend, that looks like it'll continue for Saturday. This is somewhat of a transitional day, but I would still anticipate there's a chance for some morning coastal showers. And then those showers and storms will move inland and become a bit more widespread and a bit heavier and stronger late in the day. There's still a chance, though, in the evening that some of that rain will work its way back across our coastline. So I wouldn't say that sunset and beyond are going 
going to be completely dry on Saturday along our coast. But by Sunday, more of an east to west flow is starting to set up, which means our coastal areas are more likely to be very dry early in the day on Sunday with those showers and storms beginning inland and then working their way across the coast anytime after around three o'clock. So again, it looks like a changing pattern as we head into and out of the weekend. So if you're planning on hitting the beach, uh, we will have varying conditions here. In the morning on Saturday, AM showers are pretty likely, but unlikely on Sunday. And then again, the reverse for the afternoon drying out as we're getting to sunset on Saturday. But on Sunday, more likely to get those storms rolling across the coast as we get to sunset. That was the perfect transition from gymnastics. Thank you, <laughs> Shay. Like Stuck the landing. <laughs> and get your calendars out. We're going to let you know about some future events coming to Tampa Bay that you'll want to plan for. You bet, including the world's first running music festival. Night Nation Run is coming to Raymond James Stadium. And this event is the ultimate blend of a music festival and a fun run experience. With a music-filled course, we're talking live DJs, light shows, uh, bubble zones, hello, plus <laughs> neon and black lights. If you want to check it out for yourself, the event takes place on Saturday, September 17th. Registration will cost you $60. All right. Stevie Nicks will be in Tampa this fall, and she'll be performing at the Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater on Tuesday, October 25th, along with special guest Vanessa Carlton. Tickets are already jumping quite high for this one. The cheapest ones we last checked were about 100 bucks, so definitely get your tickets sooner rather than later. And in more music news, Tim Lovato is also coming to Tampa. The Sorry Not Sorry singer will perform with Dead Sarah at the Seminole Hard Rock Tampa Event Center on Friday, October 28th. Tickets start at $76, and this show is for people 21 and older. And if you are already plotting out your Halloween plans, I know we are. Screamageddon <laughs> returns starting September 9th. This will be their eighth season. And this horror park in Dade City has plenty of frights and thrills to go around. Tickets start at $27, depending on what day you go. And you can purchase them at Screamageddon.com. I know you're heading there, Zach, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. From screams to sugar, we head out to the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino after the break to visit the Sugar Factory. Stay right there. The last block of the show is next.